Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. It feels like fall arrived overnight. We've had more rain and the temperatures have dropped, which is quite unusual for this time of year. So I thought it was time to change the bed linens. And I've been putting off washing the quilt, so I'm going to swap it out for the navy blue one. And I don't really decorate for fall, but I do like to change the linens with the seasons. There's a new day Take away your sorrow and the old ways get washed out by the rain. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you. If you're new here, my name is Randy and I live in Southern California with my husband and our two fur babies and I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation and I post new videos every Friday. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to take a minute and hit that subscribe button. There's a new day and it will restore us. I also have a load of laundry that I need to put in the dryer and then I can wash the quilt and I like to do one load of laundry a day and moving the clothes in and out of the washer and dryer is the easy part. The most time consuming part of laundry is folding so I try not to wash more laundry than I can fold and put away in one day. Except when it comes to things like blankets that are easier to fold so if I don't get them folded on the same day it's not going to add a whole lot of extra work if I leave it for the following day. I've spent the last few weeks making changes around the yard and this area in the front didn't turn out the way I had planned. It was overgrown and hard to maintain so I dug out the plants that were here and transplanted them so that I could start over with something that would be a little bit easier to maintain. I transplanted some of the mondo grass we had around the yard to line the sidewalk and I have a few new plants that I wanted to add and there's still a lot more that I need to take care of around the yard but I had to put a few things on hold so that I could take advantage of mother nature. We've had some cloudy days and scattered showers so it was a good time to repair the lawn. 
The clouds and rain will make it easy to keep the seed from drying out without using a lot of water. And we just used a rake to loosen up the dirt so that the grass seed can make better contact with the soil. And the ground was softened up from the rain in the cooler weather so it wasn't hard to do. And most of the time I love to work in the yard but I'm more of a fair weather gardener and the humidity was up to 70% and I couldn't get inside the house fast enough. Between the water restrictions and problems with the sprinklers, the grass is in rough shape and there's still a few months left in the growing season, so if all goes well, we should have grass before Halloween. And the backyard is a mix of grass and white clover and the clover does a good job of filling in the burn spot from the dogs and it takes less water, but it's not as durable on its own, so we are just adding grass seed to the lawn. It will take a month or two before the grass comes in, so I won't be able to make any more changes here until spring. And we blocked off the yard to keep the dogs out until the grass comes in. And I take the dogs out for a walk most mornings, but now that the yard is blocked off, it will have to be a daily ritual. We've been so busy working around the house and in the yard that I haven't been able to keep up with the inside of the house. I've managed to keep up with the weekly cleaning, but I haven't kept up with the zone cleaning. But with fall right around the corner, there'll be plenty of time to get caught up with the inside. There are times when I do the same thing the same way for so long that I forget why I started doing it in the first place. And when I first started using a cordless vacuum, I started upstairs and worked my way down. And with most things, it's a good idea to work from the top down. And that applies to a bagless vacuum. It saves me a trip up and down the stairs if I start upstairs. The staircase and the ground floor fill up the tank, so by the time I get to the top of the stairs, I need to head back down and empty the collection tank. Tank. But if I start upstairs, I'm already downstairs by the time the tank fills up. I've been working in this room every day now, but I'm the only one that comes in, so I only need to clean in here every other week.
I needed to put together some ingredients for my green smoothie, so I started off by unloading the dishwasher. And I didn't have a lot to do, but it always makes working in the kitchen a lot easier if I can keep the counters clear. By the time I finished unloading the dishwasher, there were only a few minutes left on the dryer and I had a set of sheets to fold. And I was washing the sheets and putting them back on the bed so that I didn't have to fold them. But I've been trying to find ways to cut back on water and energy use, so I decided to try something different. And I still put fresh sheets on the bed every week, but I'm washing the sheets every other week now. So instead of washing one set of sheets, I'm washing two sets. And when I wash the sheets, one set goes back on the bed and I have another set that I need to fold and this week I managed to get the bed made but I didn't get around to folding the sheets. I have the same green smoothie almost every day and having the ingredients prepped in advance is a huge time saver and I store half of the smoothie ingredients in the freezer and the other half in the fridge and I chop everything into large pieces so that it blends up faster in the blender and because the celery and cucumber have a high water content I like to freeze them so that I don't have to use ice cubes. This smoothie recipe contains all the fruits and veggies that I need for the day, so anything else I have that day is a bonus. And it does make a large serving, and sometimes I'll drink the entire serving at one time, and other times I'll save half for later in the day, and I'll be sure to add the recipe to the description box if you're interested. I try to include as much information as I can think of in the description box, but be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions about anything, or if you need a link to something that isn't listed down below. I 
had more cucumber than I had celery, so I chopped up the extra cucumber to add to salads. To add some sweetness to this recipe, I like to add pineapple and banana, and if I have bananas in the freezer, I add them to the bags, but most of the time I peel a fresh banana when I blend up the smoothie. Even beyond the ghost, we stand on the opposite shore, hello Mona, I reach through mysterious ceilings, my holy hope. I look for the things I don't know And once the bags are full, I squeeze out all the air and seal them up and I like to flatten the bags so that they stack up neatly and they take up less room in the freezer Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Hello Ramona I mistook you for a dream The engine glows After a quick cleanup in the kitchen, I got busy on the floors and I washed the floors with granite cleaner at least once a week and sometimes more but the floor wasn't that dirty, it just needed a quick rinse after a busy weekend To get back the life I used to know I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many Miss Callie won't go anywhere near water, but when she gets hot, she likes to put her foot in the water bowl to cool off. <laughs> and when she takes her foot out, she leaves a big mess, so I need to rinse out the bowl and put down fresh water once the floor is clean. Again into thought from within Today and not tomorrow There's no time to borrow Today is a good day 
This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were too for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my It's better to wash microfiber cloths separately because lint from other fabrics can stick to them in the wash, but I don't have enough to run a separate load so I use mesh laundry bags to protect them. And I wash them in warm water with detergent and I add vinegar to the rinse cycle and I dry them on a low heat setting. Hot water, bleach, and fabric softeners can damage the microfiber. And microfibers can be used multiple times before they need to be washed, but they need to be rinsed out and hung up to dry between each use. That's all for today. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time.